just this last Friday, I believe it was, an automated car is going to drive without a driver all the way from San Francisco to New York. That has already begun. That's underway. And of course, Elon Musk, uh, Tesla, even though he's concerned about the rise of the robots, even though he's concerned about uh, people uh, losing out to these rising machines, he says that uh, he's going to make your Tesla drive itself. And listen to his time frame. We keep hearing this is decades in the future. They, they want to they wanna make people feel comfortable with this, that it's not something that's going to happen immediately. It's going to happen much, much sooner than that. They're going to phase it in, of course. First, they will have these kind of nanny systems like uh, Chevy is putting into their cars now as an option. But the CEO of Tesla is saying that the next big software update for the Model S will roll out in 90 days. 90 days. And what's it going to have in 90 days? An auto steering function that will make the car largely autonomous on the highway. In between cities, it will drive itself. We'll still need to drive it once you get into town. But it will drive itself between cities. And that's not next year. It's not a decade from now. That's 90 days from now. This is all happening much, much sooner than you think. This will happen in our lifetime. And we should be very concerned because when we lose the freedom to move around freely, that is the kind of control over your life that you have never seen before. But that is the goal. That's one of the aspects that the federal government is moving towards, controlling our transportation, not just at the TSA, but our very movement around on the roads from place to place. Well, stay with us right after the break. Alex Jones is going to give us the background and what's really behind Operation Jade Helm. We'll be right back. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. It's all a PSYOP. The threat fusion centers, the militarization of police, military on the streets, TSA on the streets. During the Boston bombing, half the houses in the city searched without warrants. Women drug out of their homes at gunpoint. It's all an exercise of power. It's all a conditioning program to train the American people to accept what is only normal in third world dictatorships. Will we allow our journey towards despotism and tyranny to be complete? Or will we turn the situation around? and restore our beloved republic. Police department! The police and National Guard going street by street, house to house. We need to make sure too that uh, whenever we knock on doors, people refuse to leave. We need to make note, call it in. They say there are no orders to use force, just strong persuasion, sometimes entering open houses with guns drawn and instructions to disarm anyone inside. 
You said guns, guns will be taken. Yeah, no one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. I am responding tonight directly to the Southern Command based in Florida, Northcom based in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and to the foreign forces that have seized control of the District of Columbia and are now dismantling our constitutional republic. My name is Alex Jones. I'm an American and a Texan, and for 20 years I've been on air fighting the globalist agenda, their attempt to dismantle our country and our basic freedoms. No one can deny that basic American liberties are being eroded, that the Constitution is being ignored, that the executive branch is seizing control, dissolving our borders, signing us on to foreign treaties that kill our sovereignty. It's all out in the open. Recently, we reported on a public document put out by the U.S. Army Special Operations Command about a two-month training mission to be carried out in eight states. In the document, Texas, Utah, and conservative areas of Southern California are listed as hostile areas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just looking at this one document by itself, though we've broken it down. We're looking at the larger spectrum of the transformation of our military and police into a domestic paramilitary force. That's now big mainstream news. I was the first person back in 96 to really start hammering this, not because I was that smart of a person, but because the emergency manager of Kingsville, Texas, the police chief of San Antonio, and others reached out to me and said that they had been recruited to government meetings by Clinton with Army Special Operations to gauge whether or not they could condition the public to accept military occupation and gun confiscation. The military basically rebelled against this, leaked the information, and the program was shelved. Under Bush, it began to grow again, and under Obama, it has exploded. So tonight, I am addressing the general enlisted, the non-commissioned, and the commissioned officers. Now, high-level commissioned officers pretty much have the whole picture. They're not compartmentalized. That's why you've seen a major purge of hundreds of generals and thousands of other officers, the biggest in modern history, because they wouldn't go along with the litmus test of accepting uh, what the globalists wanted to do with our military, turning it into a domestic control force over the people. The reason I'm addressing the Southern Command and others directly tonight is because Joe Biggs and others in our office have been contacted and basically told to back off and shut up. Um, Military.com, Stars and Stripes, foreign newspapers, you name it, have all come out in the last 24 hours and attacked us. Uh, Bloomberg has attacked us by name, The Daily Beast, you name it, and even then linked to other people's news reports that are discredited in an attempt to make us look like liars. So there's a major PSYOP going on. Uh, they just legalized last year domestic PSYOPs to be carried out against the American people. So before I get specifically uh, into the documentation, I just want to direct you to Stars and Stripes, uh, where they basically call us conspiracy theorists, basically say we're endangering the lives of the military, and that none of this has to do with martial law. Obviously, the only truth here is that all this training has dual use and can be used overseas as well. We are not attacking the military. We are not attacking uh, any of the people even involved in this. We are exposing and attacking the policy of turning the military into a police state tool, which has been going on covertly behind the scenes for decades and is now coming to a head. Look at this foreign headline. Conspiracy, U.S. Special Forces exercise said to be training for martial law military coup. No. It is training to condition the public to accept military on the streets, which their document even says. Now, let's go through some of the history of this first, just to give you some background. In case some of you at Southern Command didn't do your homework or need a refresher course. Forbes magazine. Highly respected. How the U.S. military would crush a Tea Party rebellion. Was also in the Washington Times Associated Press. Defense Department guide calls founding fathers extremist. 
Even Fox News reported on that, where they told them don't be evangelicals or part of the Tea Party. I, I mean, th this is going on. This is happening. Fusion centers expand criteria to identify militia members, and they have the Army involved tracking that. This is a key document from the Rand Corporation, a stability police force for the United States, justification and options for creating U.S. capabilities. This was the plan I saw back in the late 90s, and then they've updated it for everything we've seen. And we're talking about checkpoints, highway shutdown, uh, highway barriers blocking all the major roads, gun confiscation that we saw back during Katrina. Any excuse they've got, they try this. Canada had floods last year. They had gun confiscations uh, there as well. Here's another one. Army-sponsored report suggests new police force for the United States run by the Army. So the Army is expanding its jurisdiction over the U.S. We know the military, historically, is one of the most dangerous things domestically that ends up taking over. Look at third world countries. Look at Mexico. Look at North Korea. They don't want us to discuss that the powers that be are moving us very quickly in this direction. Here's one out of Stars and Stripes. Uh, Brigade Homeland Tour starts October 1st, also at Army.mil. So, again, we're conspiracy theorists. This isn't for domestic operations. You're not getting rid of Posse Comitatus. You didn't list Texas and Utah as hostile. Yes, you did. Before Fox News last year reported on how they threatened everybody at Fort Hood with court marshals if they were evangelicals or part of the Tea Party, I was already given the information by Army PSYOPs. And why do you think PSYOPs was upset? Because they understand PSYOPs are being run against the American people. And these aren't psyops to free Vietnam or psyops to arm people in another country. These are psyops to take our freedoms. And it's damn treason. So let's stop living in a fairyland where you guys engage in a new psyop and say that I'm making all this up. Here's another one. U.S. military to visit Vancouver. ESPN. They had U.S. military helping police Canadians in 2010. I'm just showing you that this is global. This is happening all over the world. Look at this, scouts trained to fight terrorists and more. New York Times, they trained to take on disgruntled veterans with guns. I knew about this when this was secret. Nobody believed me. People said, oh, these are kids. They were 14 then. This article was six years ago. These guys are now, most of them, in the military. They've been training since they were little kids to take on veterans. Who does Homeland Security say in their own reports is the number one enemy? Returning veterans, gun owners. People didn't believe those secret documents when we released them seven years ago. So that's the reality of what's going on. Gun confiscation training in Arcadia, Iowa. So for Southcom that hopes the enlisted people and the non-commissioned officers are ignorant and that you just believe that I'm a liar because your commanders tell you so, you are being conditioned. You are being prepared to accept this. And it's not just here. All over the Western world, Tyranny is being established. I'm not saying that the military is going to invade Texas this summer and take over and have a military coup then. It's being done to condition the military and the police that it's all normal so in the future this can be incrementally phased in. That's the stated plan by the Rand Corporation and others. I've made four films, Police State 2000, Police State 2 The Takeover, Police State 3 Total Enslavement, Police State for the rise of FEMA, documenting it. Just today, FEMA came out and said, if states don't accept global warming taxes and global warming regulations and ban all wood stoves and barbecue pits, we'll put it all on screen, that you won't get any disaster relief that's your own state money they took. That's the power of FEMA, the power to tell you where you can build and what you can do, and FEMA's COG, continuity of government, and their InfraGuard and their clergy response teams turning citizens into Humet spies. The Army all knows this. You've been training for decades for it, but before it was a small part of the training, now it's becoming the main mission. Just like Homeland Security said three years ago, their new mission isn't fighting radical Islam, it's fighting domestic groups, and at the top of that was veterans. Militaries are always used to bring in tyranny. Who can deny Obama has just dissolved the borders without 
any congressional authority. Who can deny they're shutting down the power plants with no congressional authority under carbon taxes? Who can deny the FCC just seized control of the internet?